welcome to easy technology thank you for the overwhelming responses on the past videos it was great knowing your feedbacks and we are trying to make sure that the videos are up to your expectation so now today in the video we are talking about arduino board arduino just like the raspberry pi we saw in the last video is an embedded board available for various applications so let us see what arduino is as we discussed this is the arduino uno board Arduino is a very popular embedded board for electrical as well as electronic students. There are wide variety of applications in terms of electrical and electronics, which we'll be seeing throughout the series of our videos. But before that, let's get familiar with the board. As you can see, this is an Arduino Uno board. These are the pin options wherein you can connect different embedded devices or sensors. And the basic applications of Arduino is to control various applications through this board. As we discussed in the earlier videos for Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi is a full-fledged computer, whereas Arduino is a controller board. So there is a huge difference between microcontroller as well as Arduino. If you understand, microcontroller works on the basis of triggers. So if there is some devices which are connected here, this microcontroller will give triggers and on the basis of that, an action will be generated. Whereas a computer such as Raspberry Pi can do much more than that. It can even be used to perform basic operations. Uh, Arduino Uno board supplies 13 pins plus ground and other support in here. Also, you can connect uh, power supply and other things to this. In order to connect an Arduino board, you need an USB cable which fits in here, which is also known as data cable. So it's a simple USB cable which you get uh, specifically for boards such as Arduino. You can also use this power supply in order to power this and connect it with the different devices. Arduino, as I said, can be connected to perform different applications such as home automation. If in case you are looking for opening and closing a window using a power button in order to control different devices or notify, you can also connect different sensors such as proximity sensor, which can be connected in order to find out the proximity and there are different applications for the same. And as I said, we'll be discussing the applications of Arduino in the further videos. So an Arduino Uno board or Arduino board can be used to connect various devices and trigger those actions. So in order to use this Arduino board, we require Arduino software in your system. And let us see what Arduino software is all about. So as we know, as we discussed that we'll be using the Arduino.cc website wherein you get all the softwares related to that. So in order to do that, you have to write in your browser www.arduino.cc. In the top menu, you will get software and that you will get downloads. When you click on that, you have options to install different uh, softwares. You can also get Arduino web editor when you can get online and do the coding. With the help of this, you can do it from anywhere else also rather than a local computer. Or else if you're thinking to install in your local computer, you can uh, choose whatever is your requirement based on Windows, Mac or Linux. So based on what operating system you're using, you can connect your system uh, with the Arduino board of your choice. Now that my system already has it, let's see what Arduino software looks like. So this is how uh, after the installation, you will get the Arduino screen. Uh, this is the manus which you are getting in order to use the Arduino board. First thing you have to do is you have to go to tools sections and in ports which is here and right now it's disabled because I am not connected any of the boards in here. Once you connect the boards you will be able to see different communication ports through your USB so you can use more than one Arduino board in order to use that. Also from the file section you can get different examples or some inbuilt programs which are given which can be used to learn basic programming with the Arduino board and also check out applications of different basic sensors. For the students of electronics and electrical this is a great application. So also uh, today in this video we'll be seeing how to use this Arduino software code it and connect it with the Arduino board to blink an LED. So let's see that. So now that you've seen how do we connect Arduino board with our system, we need an Arduino system, Arduino software. So we connect the data cable in here, as you can see. I plug in this USB into my USB support. 
and with this blinking now you know that the Arduino is powered on. Now as I, as I said I'll be displaying a simple sensor based application control through Arduino. So I have this LED which I'll be connecting here in the port 13 and I'll be supplying the ground in here. Okay as you can see it's already blinking. This is because as you saw we're running a program to blink LED with the port number 13 or the input output pin 13 of our Arduino board. So this is how you can connect multiple sensors with the devices such as Arduino and control them using a program. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel, uh, turn on the notifications and also give your valuable feedback in the comment section so that we can make this channel much more important. And also the students who are watching this, please try to perform this practicals in the lab. Make sure you are following the instructions given in the video and if you find any problems, please comment back so that we can improve our videos and this is an education technology channel only for you guys. Thank you so much. Till then, see ya. Adios.